Hey, check this out. This needs no introduction. Today, we're doing red beans and rice. Let's get it. I'll start with a medium flame, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil in the bottom here, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Just enough to like coat the bottom, get it going. What I'm gonna do is, I want you wanna start cutting down your andouille, right? It's up to you how you do your andouille. This right here is a chicken andouille. Oh, and to tell you this, let's level this up. This is smoked turkey. Now I'll just go ahead, cut these down. You cut them down however big you want them to be. I think this one's a little too big. You know what I mean? But when I cut it in half, look at that right there. Okay, so we got heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and just add our sausage, put a little flavor into the pot, kind of cook this, get them nice and ready, right? And all you gotta do is just take your, for me, I'm gonna be using a bamboo, you know what I mean? Or you guys call it, just refer to it as a wooden spoon, square edge. And this right here is how we start. This is what it's gonna leave in the bottom of the pot is what we want. Remember, we building layers of flavor and we trying to make this much, much over the top as possible. You see that right there? That's what you guys want. You wanna cook that, put a little crust on it. This right here is flavor. And Andouille has released a lot of its flavor into the you know pot, right? All of this comes into play when we're making something that taste, tastes like just super excellent. The Andouille is good, so you wanna get yourself a bowl. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Look, you just wanna take these out, right? You can see all of the bits right here. This is called the fawn, for those of you guys that don't know. That's what you wanna see, because we finna get that up, right? Okay, so look, I always, if you've been following my channel, I always tell you I like to start with my onions first, right? We let them onions start to work, start to release some of its uh, some of its acids from it. You know what I mean? And that helps get everything off at the bottom too, especially when it comes to uh, fine. You know, so we're gonna go ahead and give this about a one minute, you know, head start. Then I don't know if you guys can look at the size that I had did. They're a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? I like them like that because we're looking for a little texture along with flavor. Come back to this square edge. And then look, you can see it immediately turns a different color. That's all of the flavors you get from the andouille. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look, right? It's been about a minute and a half. We started with the onions first, right? I'm gonna just take this. I'm not gonna put no pressure. I'm just gonna lightly bring this across. You can see how the fine is starting to come up. That's because of the acids inside of this, you know, onion is starting to work. Now, if I wanted to start doing this, it will just start coming, but we got a little bit more cooking to do. Now, if you feel like it's a little bit on the dry side when you're doing it, you can always add yourself a tablespoon of that butter, right? Look at this, how the fine just comes up. That's what we want. We just getting started though, folks. We're gonna cook this down just a little bit, get a little sweat going, and go from there. You see this right here? This is my press. I put all five of them in there. That's why I kinda like this one, because look at the body of it. You can like load it up, right? So now I'm gonna just go ahead and start. Oh yeah. You see this right here, folks? And then we putting it on the top. It's already minced. We're just gonna move this around and let that become fragrant. As soon as it get a little heat on it, it smells fragrant right off the back. All right, once I got this mixed, we're gonna put that real flavor in there. Not that that wasn't real flavor, but you guys know what I'm talking about, because look, I'm about to put it in right now. Everybody knows should know about this right now. I think a few million people do. If you ain't got it, let's run out and let's get it. I'll leave a link down in the comment section below and put it in the description. This right here, this is that fire, folks. So we got the Creole kick, the rest of the seasonings that we, you know, we put in here. I could have really omitted the uh, other seasoning and just went with the, you know, the Creole seasoning. You know what I mean? But I'm showing out right now. This right here is a much, much better, you know, enhancement. Once you guys make it, I want you guys to tell me. Now, over here to my left, you guys keep seeing me do this. Look right here. Always keep yourself some hot, soapy water, which I have right here. I'm gonna do a little cleaning over this way once I start to do my simmering. Remember, if you clean up as you go, you, it'll be much more enjoyable inside of the, uh, the kitchen, right? I'm gonna add this now. And then I'm finna pour these six quarts inside of here and we are gonna bring that to a boil. As we do that, I'm gonna open up my turkey necks. And that's the key. We gonna cook this all the way down until these turkey necks get nice and soft. These beans have been pre-soaked overnight. Some of these are starting to split, like this one right here, you know what I mean? Uh, losing the shell, that's because I let them soak a little longer, right? I just take them out because we're looking for something to look great, right? Actually, I'm getting ready to do a how-to hot flash video so you guys can understand. But basically, it's just, you know, having a pot, boiling the water, 
cut the pot off of the pot, add that to it, let it soak for one hour, and it does the same thing as like soaking them overnight. Hey, with that being said, let me get this over. You know what I mean? Let's move on. Okay, look at that right there, folks. Look, we rolling now. That's a nice little boil. Before I even drop it down into a simmer, you know what I mean? I run the square edges across the bottom right there, and oh, it is so smooth. Smooth like a baby's. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, so we already got our pre-soaked, you know, beans. We're just gonna go ahead and add these. This is just one pound, but when you do it right, check it out. When you do it right, you see how they plump up? There you go. Y'all talk to me and tell me who got the rice. I'll make the base, but who bringing the rice? Turn my fire down to a simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and add my next. What you guys didn't see is I did taste it, you know what I mean? And I added just a little bit of salt and some black pepper to it. But this is what you want right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on like that and we finna simmer. I'll take a look at it in 30 minutes, but I'll come back to you guys after one hour. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like after one hour. Remember I said 30 minutes, I'll check it. I took this, ran it across the bottom, make sure nothing was sticking. You know what I mean? Here we are in one hour. Just right. simmer just right. You know what I mean? Uh, I run it across the bottom. Oh, look, and I want to show you this too. You guys didn't get a chance to see me because I put everything and set everything up and thought I was done, but I still have my bay leaves. There's another one in here and when I was stirring it, you know what I mean, uh, we'll find it. But you want to add your bay leaves and everything, you know, that's when you put your lid on. You know what I mean? But this right here is come, turning out great. I can see some of the andouille oils and all of that on the top right here. You see that? Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on here. I'm not gonna disturb it. And we're gonna go for one hour. Okay, folks, so look, it's been about two hours right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so you guys can take a look, see what it looks like. Look at that right there. If that's not a whole lot of goodness, I don't know what is. Okay, so look, I'm gonna show you a trick, but we can make this just a little bit more on the thick side, right? I just take some of these. I want to leave the liquid in here, so this is all good. I'm just moving it over like this. I'm gonna use a, you know, a four cup, cup Pyrex. Put a little bit more, I'm gonna do one more spoonful. This will be the last one. Just about three spoonfuls, right? Check this out. These are like little pro tips now. Look, I take this and I just mash. Right? We want to turn this into a paste. And then once we got it into a paste, what I do is I reintroduce it there back inside. And this right here is my natural, you know, thickener. Okay, so you guys come on here. Look at this. Look at this paste right here. That's what you want to have, right? Then we go ahead and just reintroduce this. Look at that right there. Now look, I could have done more, but look, we're not doing black eyed peas. And you know what? I'm not even going to say that. You got to do it the way you want to do it. You can make it as thick as you want to, or you just want that color. I just don't like to see a watery red beans and rice, you know, for myself, really. But this here is how I like mine. Now, if you guys want yours to be a little thicker, if you make it too thick, what we do, we just add a little bit more chicken broth to it. You know what I mean? Just a little bit till we get the desired thickness or a watery version or however. I don't know the, you know, the correct name to say it, but hey, not to be indignant or nothing, but check this out. It's ladle time. Hey, I can't hold myself back no more. I ain't gonna lie to you, I went ahead and hit it. So you know what? I'm not finna over talk it. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. We finna cue this music and let's get it. and get in here look we're gonna get a little bit of this rice my mouth is still watering i know what i'm about to taste but i'm gonna taste this for y'all check this out cheers folks uh. try it talk to me down below and listen if you're new to my channel let me just take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here listen there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I am not faking. I'm out. Peace.